Hello and welcome to another update video about Phantom. I just want to come cover Phantom because um, yeah, it pretty much did what I did say yesterday in the video. So you you might remember that we um, gave you some heads up here about this um, pump before it happened. And then um, Phantom broke out, came all the way up to that level. Yesterday I did a video when it was around 2.30 and I said, you know, after a pump like that, where we were getting into the overboard range here, I wouldn't FOMO in, I wouldn't go in, I would wait for a retracement and I gave you a heads up that possibly a retracement will be coming. So there we go, that retracement happened, we came down all the way from 2, we actually went up to 247 I think. Um, we came down again to $2.05, so I think that would have been a good good price possibly to rebuy, you know, possibly. Um, the thing is, I think we could still we could still come down once more to the 195 level um, in this current uptrend. And the reason is that this is the previous high that we marked here on the 9th of September, 195. Um, it's also that high that I based the Fibonacci retracement and extension levels on here on the Fibonacci tool. I did give you the target of 245 in a previous video because that was the 1.272 Fibonacci extension level. We did hit that exactly. And as I said, we could come down once more to this level here, the 195. Um, and in my view, if we retrace a little bit more or bring the RSI down a little bit more, we could come up then once more. If we hold that level, we'll come down, we'll come up again and we could even get to the $3 level here for Phantom. Um, it's looking good so far, but also we need to be aware that Last time, for example, we had a pump like that. You know, we came down. So we might, as I said, we might still come down to the 195 level once more, for example. We came down, we came up, made only a slightly, high, slightly higher high, you know, not massively, only a little bit of a higher high, which was a heads up that it was really losing momentum, after which we then came down. So I think we might see something similar again, you know, and if you, if you can see that we can't really get through the 246, 247 level or only make barely a higher high, then possibly we can drop again, maybe even to that ascending trend line, could come all the way down then to that ascending trend line if we lose the 195. Um, and there's obviously an ascending one, so it will go up in value after time, time after time. Um, but that's so important when you actually do trading, which is well, I can't tell you what to do anyway. First of all, I'm not allowed to. But then also because everybody has a different strategy. For example, when trading, I would personally make sure that my stop loss is adjusted. For example, below 195, for example, below 194. Because, um, you know, when you saw that breakout here, then you come all the way up. You could adjust your stop loss. Stop loss. Stop loss. Um, stop loss. Yeah, I'm still in the corporate world here. No, stop loss uh, to make sure that if we drop below that level, you know, then possibly we could lose other levels as well and we come down. So that's why when, when trading, it just stop losses. When long-term holding, then you're probably not bothered because you're speculating for a, or you believe in the long-term uptrend in the crypto market. And of course, if you have your cryptos in a wallet, um, it's very hard to set a stop loss. I think it's not possible. I, I think there might be some wallets which actually support that hardware wallets. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's looking good still in my view, as long as we hold above this 195 level, then we could get to the next target level. And this has played out so well, this one. I talked to you about this before we broke the cup and handle, you know, we broke the level, came all the way exactly up to the target level. And I talked to you about the retracement when we were at 230, which came down all the way to $2.05. And um, now we're carefully moving up again, but, um, and, and one heads up actually that this um, short retracement was coming is, um, you know, we had a bearish divergence here clearly. So you made lower highs on the RSI while you made higher highs on the price. Just showing that the, um, the um, how do you say, the um, momentum was slowing down, first heads up. And then after the breakout uh, breakdown, the indicator again agreed with the price action, it followed the price action which is then just a sign that things have changed, you know, and now we are probably waiting for a bullish divergence or something. Might have found the bottom here already. Um, but um, yeah, I think it will come up. I think it will go up further, you know, but, but watch that level. If we lose in 195, 
will certainly come down possibly to even 150 and possibly even down to that ascending trend line if we lose that and that would be then the 140 level all right so hopefully you like the update about phantom um people will buy is it still worth a buy now again i can't answer that because it all depends on your strategy you know if you want to hold it for a long term possibly if you want to do it a short-term trade possibly but for a short-term trade it would probably be worth waiting for a breakout above that level here above the 246 because that could then take us to three dollars um but then you know it's all uh, it all depends on your individual strategy so i can't really give a recommendation here i think in the long run this will go up anyway um for short-term trends i would always wait for a breakout it's as simple as that but again no financial advice here i can only tell you what i see in the charts give you the target levels and the resistance and support lines and maybe give you a heads up if a potential turnaround is coming that's all i can do here and we can do a little bit more in the telegram group in the live chat um, as a channel member but again i can't give recommendations still it's just not possible not i'm not allowed to all right hopefully you liked the video if you did please, please smash the like button and please subscribe thanks a lot for watching bye bye